Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? 4 raised to power x plus 16 raised to power x equals to 272. From here, we can write this again as 4 raised to power x plus 4 square, then raised to power x equals to 272. Here, 4 square is same thing as 16. And from the law of indices, we can interchange this part, and this becomes 4 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power x, then raised to power 2 equals to 272. And in the next step, we have 4 raised to power x, 4 raised to power x. So let a letter, let y be equals to 4 raised to power x from here. And then this equation becomes y plus y square equals to 272. And then we can rearrange this to form a quadratic equation. And then this will become y square plus y. Then take this one here. We have minus 272 now, which is equals to 0. And we can factorize this. And the two factors there will be minus 16 plus 17. And that will be y square minus 16y plus 17 y then minus 272 equals to zero so when we add this together we have plus y and we multiply it with it to give us minus 272 then from here we group this one together to two and we bring what is common y common here we have y into bracket y minus 16 and plus 17 is common here we have y minus 16 which is equals to 0 and then y minus 16 common we have y minus 16 then multiply by y plus 17 which is equals to 0 and we have two possible cases here we have y minus 16 equals to 0 and also we have y plus 17 equals to 0 from this side, y will be equal to 16, and on this side, we have y equals to 17. And uh, we represented y as 4 raised to power x, then which is equal to 16. Also, here, y will be equal to 4 raised to power x, which is equal to minus 17, rather. We have plus here, so when it comes here, we call minus. This is minus yeah, 17. And the 4 raised to power x here will be positive, greater than 0. And of course, this is less than 0. Here, there won't be a solution here. Then, on this side, we can solve this by changing 16 as well to base 4. And we have 4 raised to power x equals to 4 square. 4 square is 16, 4 times 4. And here, the base are equal. We can say that x equals to 2. So, therefore, the solution to this problem is x equals to 2. We can also put the value of x in the equation given to confirm whether this satisfies the problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. In order not to miss out, subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. See you in the next class and bye for now.